Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. We are continuing our diamond painting with the flower pot Bessie from Diamond Art Club. Welcome, welcome. Today is May 1st, 2021. How are you all doing today? Is it a holiday in your country also? It's a holiday today, but it's a Saturday, so people will not be working anyway. I was trying to move uh, the uh, light, but uh, the whole canvas is going with it because this is a very large canvas. We went uh, on an outing today, as you can see in the video that I uploaded. We went to Chopron which has an old castle that you can walk in. The, the ruins of a castle that they are restoring certain parts of it. And you go underneath the fire tower. You can go right underneath it. Um, in the old, old, old days, the fire truck was, the tower, fire tower, was really a lookout um, to see if there are any fires in the city. It is next to a forest. The city is very close to the Austrian border. So for a long time, you know, it belonged to the Austro-Hungarian uh, Empire. Of course, now Austria and Hungary are separated. They are both different countries. It was a beautiful warm spring day, about 22 degrees centigrade. Um, we had a nice walkabout. I had a nice snack. Of course, hubby did not uh, eat because it's Ramadan. Um, we took a bus, very comfortable ride. I would say about 45 minutes from here, from uh, Kapova, where we live. Um, this is the first time they had a walkabout in an old castle. I'm sure he enjoyed it as much as I did. Tomorrow is May 2nd. It is Mother's Day here in Hungary. So this was like an outing. Um, for the holiday today, for the Mother's Day tomorrow, you know. After being cooped up all winter long, everybody was really out in the sunshine. The uh, restaurant terraces were finally opened. So everybody was taking advantage of uh, getting a chance to go and sit outside, meet with friends, you know. I'm sure you know how it goes. Um, I would say that uh, the crowd was not so huge as to become uncomfortable. So as I said, it was an extremely pleasant outing. We, um, of course, we got lost, you know. If I go anywhere, I always get lost. But uh, we walked around beautiful streets and we saw old houses. Um, those are um, under the heritage law. Um, the old houses must be um, saved in their original state. Whichever one has a mark on it that needs to be saved. So even if they are renovated, they must use the old building materials, etc. I filmed some of the materials that they used to build the walls of the castle. Now, can you imagine if they would have to, you would have to reproduce the same... Um, I mean, they just took whatever was available. Um, these castle walls did serve as a protection against... Um, you know, unwanted visitors. And we 
we had plenty of that in this country. A um, lot of um, castles, etc., chalets, what have you, have started to be renovated. They were rather uh, neglected in the communist socialist era or used for purposes other than what they were originally um, made for. I'm happy to see that because uh, the next generation can see, um, you know, their heritage and their culture and things like that. And it's certainly very exciting to see a castle that you see in movies and then you go there and you actually walk around in person. I think uh, it's very interesting. Not interesting to everyone, but um, we do like uh, this kind of outings and we thoroughly enjoy nature. There's so much to see there actually that um, the little outing that we did today certainly was not enough to take in all the sites that need to be seen. It is an old city and um, the city has a title of being um, very um, trustworthy because when it had a chance, they asked the city, do you want to belong to Austria or do you want to belong to Hungary? They said that they wish to belong to Hungary. And um, this is why the city is held up as um, being the most patriotic and trustworthy for uh, the Hungarian heritage. I'm sure they would have had an easier time if they belong to Austria, but um, Hungarians are a tough breed. We don't give up. And we are a proud nation, I must say. Very small, but um, we want to stick to our heritage, our customs, our language. A lot of times the Hungarian language was at the uh, peril of perishing, um, being melted into the Latin and, um, you know, the German from Austria when it was an Austro-Hungarian empire. But uh, we managed to keep our language, which is a big thing to do considering how small this nation is. We are outlining um, this uh, next um, portion of the canvas with the black and then we're going to fill in the colors. Um, I believe this number one is uh, Aurora Borealis. Yes, it is an aurora borealis, which means it sparkles even more than usual. They're all very sparkly. Let me put these down to show you what I am talking about. This uh, number one is a uh, DMC code 129. Uh, from what I understand, anything under 150 is an Aurora Borealis um, diamond. I hope you can see the extra sparkle because it is beautiful. You know, it's taken from the uh, Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis Lights, and this has a coating on it to uh, give it extra shine, extra color. You see? Let me get you closer. Hopefully you got to see some of it. 
The drawers are all very sparkly. They were building something in the uh, middle of the courtyard of the uh, castle. I don't know what they're going to have there, perhaps a little coffee shop or something like that. Or uh, just the resting place. There are lots of parks and um, fountains, but they were not turned on yet with water. This is actually the first warm day we had um, this year that I would call really warm. You know, 22 degrees here is like summer temperature. It was lovely not to have to wear heavy winter coats. And everybody was really outside enjoying the sunshine and, you know, the holiday. Already we saw a few tourists, not much, but they were there. Usually that city has a lots of tourists. You know, just a hop over from Austria. And um, Austria has castles, but I think Hungary has much more. Considering what a small country is, we have a lot of, um, lot of castles. Okay, those were the Aurora Borealis uh, drills. I hope you can see the special sparkle. I will try to grab it when the sun shines. Um, so you can get the full impact. So let's continue the outline of um, the flower pot. And here's the leg of uh, the flower pot. Bessie, the little girl, is sitting inside the flower pot. She has a straw hat on and that also has a lot of Aurora Borealis uh, drills in it. So that should give the picture quite a bit more sparkle, um, especially, you know, the straw hat with the yellow and the sparkle. I think that's really going to uh, perk up um, the canvas. Not that it needs perking up, because it's just lovely the way it is. And very enjoyable, very easy to do which I can certainly appreciate. And those of us that was uh, diamond painting with me, you know exactly what I'm talking about. After that fiasco with the chubby little girl, which turned out beautiful, but I really would not wish to repeat that mess. It was enough to um, try and put everything in order, save the canvas, let's put it this way, because I would not have had the heart to throw it in the rubbish, especially since I waited four months for it. But we did it. And it did turn out beautiful. This much I must say for it. I mean, I love that Evermoment company. They do have beautiful stuff, but uh, I think Diamond Art Club is on a different level all by itself, my opinion. So far, what I am uh, experiencing is all positive, which is amazing. It's my humble opinion. Definitely, I can see the difference as far as quality is concerned. As I said, I think every moment is uh, perfect from AliExpress. But uh, like I said, Diamond Art Club is in a class by itself. And absolutely adore it. Let me put some wax because... Um, the Aurora Borealis seem to take up a bit more wax. I think it's from the special coating that's covered on the outside of it. I've noticed that before. Now, I do have another diamond painting pen, 
which on one side is wax, but uh, I didn't want to take it out just for the few drills that I was putting down. Um, this wax, this heart-shaped wax, seems to be a little bit stickier than um, the lighter red colored ones. I don't know, it's just my opinion. This is what I have noticed. I don't have to fill up the diamond pen so often and it seems to stick just fine. Now I am afraid I'm the kind of reviewer that would tell you if something is wrong which I made quite clear to the company that wants me to do a review. But uh, I'm trying to find something wrong in this canvas, but so far I haven't. So much for that. Okay, let me push these guys in order. Move over a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely sticky. Once you put it down, it doesn't want to move over which is fine. I mean, we don't want it to stick on a canvas. I should be more careful about placing them, right? Right. I love the natural colors in this. Nothing is too overly saturated, nothing too glary. So definitely did not have a headache from it. There we go. Now usually your black color, your black 310, that's the first DMC code I ever learned. Um, if you're going to have problems, that will show up in the black one. I guess it's because uh, they make so many of the black ones that um, this is where problems would show up and so far. I haven't seen any, which again, I am thankful for. Yell if I'm putting something in the wrong place, because actually you can see it better than I can. Right now, only you can see the canvas on the camera, I can't. So let's go up on the side. I do have larger multiplacers, but I am not that apt at um, using it. So I'm sticking something that I'm familiar with now. We learned to use the three and a four. Yesterday I attempted to use the bigger one. It was okay, but um, you know, if I'm going to spend my time correcting my multiplicing them, I might as well put it down one by one, right? There we go. I hope you also have a chance to go out in the spring sunshine. I know not everywhere is as nice as it was here. I didn't uh, record the street. It's all decorated with flags because of the national holiday. Today is, um, well, I think it's um, something like Labor Day. They celebrate the workers today always on May 1st. From what I gather, I think it is an international holiday, not sure. Because, uh, you know, some time ago, it was like a communist holiday. But then they said, no, 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 it uh, to honor the workers. So I said, it is something like Labor Day. Of course, they didn't know what Labor Day is over here, but I presume something like that, you know. Sounds good to me. 
So we'll just keep call it that, okay? In the old days, it was mandatory to go and march down the streets with flags and everything. And then you got free beer and hot dogs. But of course, now we have democracy and it's not mandatory anymore. And of course, we do not have uh, the red flags anymore. We just have red, white, and green Hungarian flags, which is fine. And uh, the city has its own flag. So on the flagpoles, there's a city flag, there's a European Union flag, and there's a Hungarian flag. Looks real pretty, but um, I was surprised they did not put the flower baskets out yet. On every um, light pole, <coughs> they usually hang a flower basket on. So the whole city is all decked up in flowers and flags. It looks really nice. Looks like in June, the health spa will open. I can hardly wait, let me tell you. I'm really happy about that, and my joints are very happy about that. You know, my aching bones and what have you. And I guess we'll get our tourists back from um, health, tourism, and surrounding countries, etc. The weird thing about Chopron is sometimes when you go visiting there, there's so many tourists that you're hard to find a Hungarian person to ask directions from. But of course, today it was mainly our local people. As I said, there were some tourist groups which I was very surprised and happy to see. It was definitely, you know, a sign that things are getting back to normal. I think half of the country has their vaccines already. So carefully, slowly, we can go ahead. It's fine. I don't know. I come alive with the spring sunshine, just like the flowers and the trees. Same thing. I am looking for a Kleenex, excuse me. As usual. I still say I have an allergy. Sorry about that. Okay, I see we have to go here also. I can't move the lamp over because the can is underneath the canvas, the wire. I was not careful enough when I um, I moved the canvas because I was finished on the uh, left side over there. So I opened up this on the right side. We should be finished with this flower pot um, by tomorrow. So we are way ahead of schedule, which is fine. We have um, other dining paintings to do if we do finish ahead of schedule. We already kitted them up, so it's just fine. And as I said, I am waiting for two more deliveries of two more diamond paintings. Sometime they get here, I don't know when. I don't even presume to guess. When they're here, they get here. 
it's fine. I know I was promising you this canvas for months. Not this one, the other one, the chubby one. And it took four months. This one came, came very fast from Diamond Art Group. So it did give me hope that um, things gradually are getting back to normal. Really, I don't wish to complain about deliveries because it's a miracle that during all this mess, they kept things going. None of the stores went out of business. I think it really took hard work. But we did learn. Just be patient. The package will get here. And anyway, I have learned that during this whole um, mess. And as you can see, the packages did get here. So this is what I mean. I'm not going to promise when a new one is going to get here because I don't know. Whenever, I will um, put it in a community tab when we're going to have an unboxing. Because I love unboxings, don't you? It's like Christmas each time. There we go. And it's also very surprising how different the canvas looks when you get it in person than the picture you see on the website. So far, I have not been disappointed with the way the picture looks. Um, I was just surprised at the first ones, you know. Said, wow, this looks so much more prettier than what I saw. I mean, in order for me to order a canvas, I have to be in love with it. And when I saw how beautiful it was, I was like, wow, I'm so happy I ordered it. Are you the same way when you order a diamond painting? I'm sure I am not the only one that is surprised when they get uh, their canvas. Surprised in a positive way. See what I mean about making fast headway? When there are no problems no damage that you need to fix. You just go along, you place your drills, look at the DMC code, and um, the stickers were very clear. I didn't have to make the stickers, it was included. So it was a very nice experience. I didn't do it online because I wasn't sure how to get up such a large um, such a large painting, but the way they were packaged, very logical. So I had one strip where the less drills in the bag and I could, uh, you know, take out my smaller containers and then the bigger packages of drills were on another strip. So then I took out the larger um, containers. I love this Elizabeth Arden system because it has different sizes, you know? And I could put all my drills out, not uh, just some of them, you know, and have the rest in bags. 
Um, I get a bit confused like that. I like to put them all out into storage containers. Now my leftover drills, I put into Ziploc bags. That's just fine and it takes less space. This is a small flat, so I don't have that much extra space. And once I have a good um, assortment, then I will not even save the drills anymore, except for the very special and very good drills. This is, uh, I thought it would be a logical next step. Because why save uh, drills that I do not want to use uh, because their quality is not um, up to our standards, right? Yes, we are picky. Well, they warned me that once I try Diamond Art Club, I will be spoiled. Because after that, nothing will be good enough. I don't think that's the case, but it's definitely a store that uh, I want to order every month from. And I think we have finished our outlining. I thank you so much for spending time with me this afternoon. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay happy. Please hit the like and the subscribe button. I will see you again tomorrow afternoon, May 2nd, Mother's Day, Sunday. Bye for now. Bye-bye.